This is our first ticker that we have drawn in this particular given case. When you look at the ticker, for you to study in this particular given diagram, AutoCAD needs you to be very sharp and very keen because anytime you mess up with the measurement, the diagram will not be able to fit the way you want. Either it can build or it can change the position. But in this case, first, before we start to draw, since we have already known how to use the tools, we need to identify where is our starting point. Because when you look at this diagram, we have our starting point here. So this angle is 45 here, 45 to the negative. Then we have this line from here to here. When you look at this line from here to here, it's the same line as from here to here. So this is 2.5 and this is also 2.5, but they have given the, uh, they have given you the first measurement, which is 1.5, 1.5. And this 1.5, when you look at it, it can confuse you because when you look at it, it seems to be a horizontal measurement, but it's on the vertical line that is it. Uh, turning 45 degrees. We look at the line here. Then from there now, from this line, the uh, horizontal line to the top line, it's also 1.5, 1.5. Then going up, it is 2.5. Then from this case now, if you see, this one is also tilting at uh, 3.5. Then we have this side also 3. Uh, if this one is 2.5, this one also is 2.5, 2.5. Then we have this one. If, if this one is 3.5, this one is also 3.5, 3.5. So this is for you to be able to work on it. First, we'll start with the first measurement, which is the anti, the down here. So this first measurement that is here, will pick a line. When you pick a line or you select a line here, you will come and start to draw. <clears throat> we can start from this particular given point, which is very easy to locate the measurement. So this from this point to this one, it is 2.5. So come and click here. Then you direct your cursor at the right. So when you move to your right, always the measurement starts from zero. So that's why we can say zero. Then you press tab. When you press tab, you show 2.5. When you show 2.5, you can press enter. So this line will be 2.5, 2.5. I'll say to you do it. What you need to do, you can now do it. Select a line here. Once you select a line, you click. You show on your right, which will do it. 2.5, when you type 2.5, you press start. Then you can show the angles is zero. Because on your right hand, it is always zero. So before we can proceed, we can also zoom in to make our line fit in the screen. So what I can do, I can either decide to hold, uh, to press escape first, then I hold control. I'll move my mouse inside like this. If I move outside, no. But if I move inside, it will reduce the size, the size. So you hold control, then you start to scroll the mouse. You see how it will be able to change the position, the position. But the other option also, you can also choose view. When you look at view, view is used to view hidden information. So you can be able to choose zoom. When you choose zoom, you can yeah. zoom also in, in or out in this particular given case. So once you're done, now we have also to proceed again. We can draw the, the top, uh, the perpendicular line here, which is uh, 2.5. 2.5, it. You can select, then you point at the where we have an, an intersection, you move it up, you type 2.5. When you type 2.5, when you are going up, you use 90. When you are going up, you use 90. Then you press what? Enter. Once you press enter now, you can also escape. We have this line here, this one. So for you to locate this line, you'll take 2.5. You'll take what? 2.5 plus 5.0 plus 2.5 here. Okay? This so when you'll be able to get from this point to this point here. So automatically when we do a simple arithmetic, 2.5 plus this one is 7.5. 7.5 plus 2.5, it will be what? It will be 10.0. 10.0. So automatically, this line it will be 10.0 here. So you just click, then you select it here. So you go to 10 and 10, then you 10.0. Then you press tab. So when you are going this side, it's 180. You see, we are pointing on our left hand side. So it's 180, then you press enter like this. So now you can move down also. When you move down, it's 2.5. It will take 2. Uh, five. 
going downward, then you press up to direct 90. Once you direct it 90, now you can press enter like that. So from this particular given point, we need also to go to a distance of what? 2.5. So it will be 2.5. Uh, look at it. We are going at an angle of zero. So it is directing it at zero, zero degrees. You press enter. So from this case, we want to locate this angle here. This angle is the one that we want to locate. To locate. So for you to locate this particular given angle now, you will have a line of 1.5, but with an angle of what? 45 degree degrees. So this particular given 45 degrees, when you look at this particular given line, we have our 90 here. When you look at this particular given point, we will have our 90 here. So 90 plus 45 into 135. So the angle that has been given here will add it to 90 degrees so that it will form 135 degrees. So you come and take a line, then you can point here. Then you can draw uh, 1.5. 1.5 tap, 135 degrees. Then you press what? Enter. So that's how that line will be able to look like. So the same line also, when you want to draw, you can also apply to this one. But this one, remember, it's not the same as this one. When this one is 45, this one is also 45. But remember, this one, it has not uh, passed 90 degrees. Only by sec 90 degrees, 90 degrees. So you cannot add 90 again like the way we have added this one. So this one we just draw a line of what? 1.5, 1.5, uh, 1.5, tap, tap, 45, like that. Then you can press one, and tap. So once you press enter now, you'll be able to join this line. So this line, they have intersected here. So when you look at the way they have intersected, pick a line here, then you draw direct to this particular given point, uh, point here, like this. So that's how you'll be able to form that particular given first part at that particular given case. So from this case, now we want to, lo to locate the top shape here. This top shape now is the where you can now be able to concentrate. When you look at this particular given line, this was 10. It was in 10. The line from here up to here, it was 10. But now we want to move a line from this point to this one. From this point to this one, to be 3.5 here. So it means we come and extend a line here at the center. Like in this particular given case, we can draw it at the center. A half of 10, it was in. A half of 10 is what? 5.0. So you come and draw a line of 5.5. Tab 0, like that. So once you locate your center here, now you can, able, you can be able now to do it, to locate the height of this particular given surface. So before we locate, let me control everything. I move it down a bit. So I come and move the shapes below. Like in this case, I can move it here, yeah, like that. So once I move it here now, I can proceed, I can click on the line, I point where we have this center point here. Then I locate a line of 90 degrees with a measurement of 3.5. It will be 3.5, tap, line like that. Then you press here, enter. So once you show 3.5, tap, 90, it will trace this circle now. When you are drawing, you are drawing. So the first circle, it has a, a diameter. When you see theta, it's a diameter here. So you divide this by what? You divide this by, also this one by, by. So for you to be able to start drawing, we'll click on the circle tool, then you point here. When you point here, you can draw a radius of what? 2.0. So you Draw a circle of a radius 2.0. Then you press enter. The other one will draw a radius of 3.3, 3.5. When you click here, you come and click here, you draw a radius of 3.5 like that. So if you draw a radius of 3.5, you press enter. 
Now we have this particular given line here. This line that you are seeing from this sideways. When you look at this particular given line, they need also to have their measurements. So for you to locate this particular given measurement, how will you locate this line from this point to this point? Hello? It's a tangent line. Huh? A tangent line. Huh? The measurement? Uh, the measurement. Hello? The measurement. Is there 3.5 or just go from the corner uh, to where it will yes. touch the sack? Hello? 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 Hello. Yes. 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 No matter. Okay. So, how do you draw this line here? Uh, I have two options. You can draw from the corner, then uh, where it will touch the circle. <laughs> Alternatively, you use the three point five. <laughs> three point five. But uh, let us see. Let us see. Yeah. Let us see. Yeah. So in this case, you'll have a line from here. Then you can be able to draw to draw 3.5. 3.5. Mm -hmm. Stop. The yeah. angle that we need to draw this one is what? 45. Yeah. Uh, 45. <laughs> <laughs> what you are saying is not true. Oh, <laughs> oh we just get to the point where right? you touch the circle. Yeah, so when you look at this, we can draw. When you look at this, we can draw a line of seven. Yep. Then we'll okay. be able to trim it. Eh? Okay. Yeah, we'll be able to trim. So for us to draw a line of seven, we can just mm -hmm. join this radius in here. Okay. Like this. So once uh, we once you join now, we have also to to pick a line here. Let us see. It will be seven. Stop. Forty-five. Oh, we can not then degrees, eh? We? We can get on and degrees. We touch the circle and we get on the degrees. So let we can easily bisect this line. We can draw a line of 135 here. Okay. 135 with a radius of 3.5. So 3.5. Okay. Stop. 135. Okay. Yeah, still, it will not work. <laughs> The circles are not from exactly the same, huh? The circle? I'll draw it. 
of the circle. It's not exactly at the center. Yeah. The one we have drawn, eh? The one that we have drawn is at the center of this particular given line here. Extending to right. Yeah. Just a minute, let me fix something here. Yes, yes. And <laughs>
So what I was trying to test here, because they have not given us the measurement of this line. Yes. yes. So I have decided to by six point five, which would be two point five. Yes. yes. Then I turn it to this particular given point. So this. So, uh, the diagram was not given the entire measurement so when you look at it. Okay. Yeah, from, from this point to this one, it was not specified. So what we do, we just bisect uh, 45. Inside 45, we have 22.5, 22.5. That's why I have this particular given line here to see if we okay. can able to fit. So once you bisect, okay. you can just drag it down in this particular given okay. case. Okay. Now, when you go to this side also, you can also easily come up with what? 135. 135 it will be uh, 90 plus 45. 90 plus 45. So it will be 3.5 sub. Uh, sub. Let us say 135. Sub. So when you look at 135, this 35 will add 25. Okay? So 135 plus 25, because we want to bisect a half of 45. So we will add here 22.5 here. So it will be 135 plus 22.5. Yes, it is. It's 116. So 3.5 sub 160. When you press 3.5 sub 160, then you'll be able to do what? To find this particular mm -hmm. line here, which is the same as this. Okay. One. Yeah, so you okay. can yeah, you can train here. Okay. This particular given case. But it's not matching. Not matching. The yeah. circle is not to originate from the pair, yeah. except on the, this line, the bottom line. Yes. So, just a minute. Let us repeat the, the top here. We see. So we can we can drag. We can move. We can. We can move the circles to the center. Okay. So we can move it. So let me see if this was one point uh, five point zero. I think it's not 5.5. .5. The half of this is just 5.0. Yes. So this is where we were supposed to draw. So it is yes. this yeah. So you can 3.0, 3.5. 3.5 yeah. sub 9. So that's yeah. how it increases. I used 5.5 instead of 5.0. Okay. Okay. So you can draw the circles here, which will be what? 2.0. Then we'll have the one for 3.5. 
So once you draw like that, now we can be able to do it. You have okay. 160. Okay. 160. No, not 160. Yes? Okay. What if we just uh, touch the, the circle? So I wanted to touch the yeah. circle by using that yeah. first. Okay. So it will be 3.5 sub 160. So from here now you can be able to, yeah. to touch it like that. Okay. Then also on the other side, uh, we'll draw 32.5. So it will be 3.5. Up to 2.5. Then you touch it. Okay? Yes. So even when you are cast, you see something that is making sense here. When you look at this particular case, let yes. me move it to a correct position. Yes. I can move it. You see, when you are at chance, there's no error that can be seen. Yes. So from this case, now you can delete this line after drawing okay. like this. So we can still move it at the center here. Okay. So this was 4.0. You can use the measurement so that you can see. You will just click dimension, diameter. Then you point here. It will be 4.0 here. So we can reduce the number okay. once you complete. So for you to reduce, you just click format, the dimension style here. Okay. Then you can also modify. When you modify, now you can choose what the units here to be zero, uh, zero, one. Then the line also, the simple and arrows, you can adjust here. You can make it three. Then you click what? Okay. Once you click okay, now you can be able to, to click what? Plus. Yeah, the sim that symbol is very huge. So you can go back. So dimensions, then you choose what? A format dimension style. You choose modify. Yeah. After modify, under simple here, you can put it one. Then you click OK. Then you close, like in this case. So once you close, we can uh, use the dimension simple here, which is diameter. Then you just point here. So it will be 4.0, 4.0, the same as this one also. So when I look at okay. this counting down of mine, it has one minute. When you look at it. Yes. Hello? Yes. Hello. So it has one minute, so automatically it can close any time. So what I wanted to do, when you look yes. at this particular given diagram, I need you to go and assign the measurements. Yeah? Just select the measurements, okay. the dimensions here. If it's a straight line, you use a line. Use aligned here, and then you can be able to point, to point it mm -hmm. like this. So, if you want it to fit, you can reduce the dimension style. So, you just mm -hmm. go to format, and then you choose here dimension style under modify. Mm -hmm. 